everyone this is V with Real Journal Talk and today's video is going to actually be my close out um, budget video for the ending of April if you're interested in watching please continue to watch alright you guys so I am so sorry for this video being uploaded late but um, between life and just being busy and everything's going on I have not had the opportunity until now to actually do this video so um, I want to say welcome back um, to all my um, subscribers and for my new subscribers. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. And for anyone new, thank you for stopping in to watch this video. And I hope you consider subscribing to my channel as well. So uh, for those who are new, I currently utilize the Aaron Petit um, Budget Planner. Um, to do my um, budgeting um, so we are going to look at the monthly calendar that's how I set up my actual paycheck to paycheck so we're gonna go in and look at the last paycheck the first paycheck in April to see if I um, still had the projected balance um, that was allocated for that particular week um, as well as make sure I didn't go over or under or if something else came up in between. So I am going to just pull out this blue pen and see. So for my actual um, credit union, this is always going to be this amount. So... Um, and then my chime that's actually correct project fund savings I actually was able to do that the lights was that amount um, cell phone 35 cable 130 my Amazon Prime is 1390 student loan for 4101 and um, other student loan ooh, 1633 that was correct the storage $25 and then of course my cash envelopes that is 360 for now and I actually did not do um, the B day on this particular week I did it on the next week so but with that being said, I actually had a miscellaneous expense of $97.07. So let me see if I have the um, $97.07. All right, guys. Um, I had to actually go and get my calculator. So I actually um, had a miscellaneous of 9707. So we are going to include that. Well, first we had the 1378.59 as expenses. I'm going to deduct that $25 because that didn't come out. Um, and now I am going to add the 9707 which now gave um, the total expenses $1,450.66. So we take that and we deduct it by that weekly check. It's showing a projected amount should be one. 6057 for that pay period okay so now let's go in and look at paycheck 2 and for paycheck 2 it's the same as expenses these are my main primary um, bills and they usually um, they will not change so it's a hundred 105 100 140 um, the 176 and the cash envelopes 360 so the total expenses um, 
for $9.81. However, I did had I did make some purchases. Um, so I um, if you watch my previous video, you would know that I mentioned that I had to um, purchase a new laptop. So um, I took a hundred dollars to go with the money I had for that. Then I did a box spring. So I kind of did a lot of things for these last three paychecks. Um, I did two twenty on that, and then I vert, um, got some a cleaning spray for that, and that was forty dollars. And then on this one, I did the birthday, and I actually did forty dollars. So all of this, the 100, 220, 40, and 40, let's see what that equals. 100 plus 220 plus 40 plus 40, that equals 400. So we had 400 additional that came out. And so now 981 and include the 400 now makes that one thousand three hundred eighty one dollars take that amount and subtract it by the sixteen eleven twenty three and that gives me two hundred and thirty dollars and twenty three cent that's supposed to come, um, be left over so let's move on to paycheck three so as I just mentioned these are my primaries um, consistent payments one hundred um, 105 savings 140 project 100 um, for the lights on um, that was this is, this fluctuates but that was 43102 sale 35 cable 130 storage 25 student loan because it these this paycheck crossed over to the first check in May um, and then my other student loan, my Amazon Prime, and of course my cash envelopes. So for paycheck three, the miscellaneous um, expenses for this one was $49.75. So let's look to see. The projected balance was one, well, hold on, let me do this. $1497.26. Add on that $49.75. And that gives me $1,547.01. Now take that amount and take it away from the $1611.23. And the projected balance for this one is $6422. So what I'm going to do is on this last page right here, instead of going back, I'm just going to calculate a total for all three paychecks. So we have... We have 97.07, um, the 230.23, and the 64.22. So that was $391.52. I think that's right. Um, sure I didn't miss anything yeah that's right so with that being said um with this amount I realized after getting the box screen that we want to invest into an actual new mattress so this money actually went towards a new mattress set um for um these the ending of april so there was no i actually did not um make an extra payment on the student loan this money ended up applying it to a new mattress um and as far as the monthly overview for the petite budget planner for april um the total savings um for the um the month of April, we take those hundred and forty dollars 
savings and time that by three and it was 420 that was actually saved for that particular month and I think at the front is where I have yeah this is where I keep everything to make sure before I check off everything let me see if I had the stickers in this one use this green one so let's see for April the 420 was accomplished because of course we are in May and I usually don't do this to the end just because if anything happened I want to make sure that I had that save up so that's basically it for my closeout budget for April and um, thank you for taking the time out to stop on this video watching it and please remember to give me a big thumbs up comment let me know how you close out your budget for april were you able to meet your goals um just comment down below and don't forget to click that red subscribe button and join my channel thanks bye everyone